In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create really rough and gritty portraits using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Droll here back with another video and as you can see, this is not a full length tutorial, instead it is more like a tip video. So what I actually wanted to show is that how you can really quickly create uh, this look which you mostly see in sports photography and sometimes uh, when you, you want to show something that is really gritty, uh, dirty, desaturated. Uh, so if you want to create this look, it looks easy but it's a little bit trickier. So let's see how we can do it. So I'm going to go back to this original image where we will start working on. So to create this look, first of all, I'm going to double click on this background and unlock this thing. And then I will make a copy of it. So I'm going to press Ctrl J and then I want to make it black and white. So I will go to image adjustment and turn it into a desaturated image, the black and white. Then I will change its blending mode to soft light. Now, if you zoom in, not you don't even need to zoom in. As you can see, there is a lot of detail lost in her uh, outfit that she is wearing. So we can deal with that. Double click on that this layer here and as you can see you have this option for underlying layer. So now if I remove it as you can see it, it gets rid of the black part. Now to make it smoother I'm gonna hold my alt key and then I will remove it. So it is a lot softer. So as you can see uh, I think 50% seems fine to me. Uh, yeah 48 is also good. So now if I turn it on and off as you can see the detail on the clothing uh, doesn't go away. Now the contrast is ready, time to remove the color. So to do that, I'm going to go and create a vibrance adjustment layer from here. Uh, and there I'm going to turn down my vibrance a little bit, not too much because we don't want to turn it into black and white. So vibrance, uh, maybe 20-30%, uh, yeah 27 looks good. Uh, let's see, yeah that works really nice. Let me close this thing here, little annoying. Now colors and contrast are ready, it's time to adjust shadows and highlights. So to do that, I'm gonna go and create a new blank layer from here. And then I will press Ctrl, Alter, Shift and E. Uh, so we have a JPG inside Photoshop as you can see here. Now it's time to apply the shadows and highlights. Uh, so let me zoom in a little bit so we can see the details on her face properly. Uh, so let's go to image, adjustment and then I will go to shadows and highlights. Uh, so as you can see the first thing I want to do is make the shadow zero so uh, maybe two three percent not too much now the most uh, adjustment we're gonna make is in the highlights so first of all I'm gonna turn down the radius a little bit uh, and then I will adjust my tonal width a little bit so I'm gonna compress it uh, basically what I'm trying to do is compress the highlights so I'm gonna adjust my highlights a little bit even more as you can see uh, it makes it look really gritty, like the person uh, works, belongs to some real background where you have to do really uh, hard work or stuff like that. So let's adjust, adjust this a little bit more and make sure you don't go too heavy on this thing, uh, like uh, something like this because it will look really unnatural. Uh, so control uh, what you are using properly. Uh, so this looks uh, really nice to me and in the shadows, uh, let's see. Yeah, a bit darker won't hurt. Uh, so let's look at the preview. Uh, looks really nice and hit OK. Now almost everything is ready but it's time to apply some sharpening. And in this type of portraits, the sharpening works really good. So we're gonna do the same. Uh, I'm gonna go and create a new blank layer from here. Press Ctrl, Alter, Shift and E. So there is another snapshot of the image. Now I will go to my filter, other and then I will select high pass. Now in the high pass, make sure your radius is minimum because uh, if you go too much, it, it just ruins the image for this look. So I'm gonna go and keep my radius around 1.3 or something like that. Yeah, that looks good. Hit OK. Now I'm gonna change its blending mode to hard light. So now if I zoom in and if I turn it on and off, as you can see the details that pops up, uh, that looks really nice. But it's a bit stronger for my taste. So I will go and uh, turn down the opacity to let's say 75% or 70 like that. Now if I turn it on and off, yeah, now it looks more decent. So that's it. Uh, let's look at the after before. Uh, this is the original file and this is what we created in just couple of minutes. And since it's couple of minutes, you can always go back and forth and change the things you don't like. Like I can reduce the opacity of this layer a little bit 
to make it brighter or you can do anything you want. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you want me to do more of this really quick tips videos please please let me know in the comment section below and you can click on any of these boxes if you want to check out more of my videos and you can also hit on that subscribe button so every time I upload a new video you will get the update plus clicking on it will take you to my channel where I have more than 80 free photoshop tutorials just waiting for you. So till then goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop.